Hi guys, in this video we want to talk about synthetic vitamins. 95% uh, or probably 98% of all vitamins sold are synthetic, okay? Some people say there's no difference between synthetic and natural, um, but there is a big difference, okay? So in nature, vitamins always come in a complex of cofactors, coenzymes like helper vitamins, helper minerals, trace minerals, um, enzymes, things like that. They never come as one individual fractionated part of a vitamin. They don't work like that. Uh, also, the synthetic versions are the DL forms. They're just a different rotation. Uh, and then the natural ones are D form. But I don't even recommend getting natural vitamins. I recommend getting food-based vitamins, okay? Coming from some food-based versus some individual fractionated natural vitamin itself. I mean, that's better but the food-based ones are much better. The, pr the reason why people don't buy them is that they're usually lower dosages, but they're actually more potent because they're more functional. I mean, if you ever take vitamin B, a synthetic vitamin B complex, you're gonna be peeing a lot of it out because your body's rejecting it, and that's what it is, is excreting it. If you get natural B vitamins, uh, or in the complex in nature, like nutritional yeast, you'll never have that because the body will uh, use it all. So it's more efficient, it's more functional, it's more effective. Now, when you take nutritional yeast that's enriched with synthetic vitamins, you will see some yellow in your urine because of the synthetic. And a lot of these foods, especially grains, are enriched with synthetic vitamins. You don't want that. And why do they enrich it? Because the refined grains are depleted of vitamins. So they have to put it back, but they give you the wrong version. Let's just take vitamin C complex. Vitamin C in nature comes with different parts. It has the ascorbic acid protective shell, small amount. And by the way, most people, when they get ascorbic acid, they, they think they're getting vitamin C. That's only the antioxidant protective piece of it. It's not the complete complex. In nature, you have the P factors. That's the bioflavonoids, the rutin, uh, that helps all the capillaries. You have the J factor, which is vitamin J, which, which you probably haven't heard of, but that's the anti-pneumonia vitamin. That increases oxygen carrying capacity. Let's say, for example, you're deficient in vitamin C and you go upstairs and you get out of breath easily. It's because you need this. And vitamin C is stored in the adrenals. So there's a connection between vitamin C and the adrenal health. And then we have vitamin K. Vitamin K is really important in clotting. So what do people get when they have vitamin C deficiencies? They get uh, bruising, they get bleeding on uh, the teeth, spongy gums, scurvy, pink toothbrush syndrome, all that. And then we have copper. But copper is not just in the elemental form, it's in an enzyme fo form called tyrosinase. And basically what that means is that this trace mineral is needed in the vitamin C complex and this actually helps build collagen and um, connective tissue. So you can see vitamin C is a lot more than just ascorbic acid. The only time I would recommend taking synthetic vitamins is when you're doing a cleanse, let's say a detox, uh, a sauna treatment, because that way you can use the vitamins to help facilitate uh, the depletion of chemicals, but not long-term maintenance. Uh, because if you, even if you look at some of the studies with synthetic vitamins, you'll see um, a lot of body problems. They actually worsen the situation, especially fat-soluble vi synthetic vitamins like vitamin A, D, E and K, okay? Those can be mixed synthetically because those vitamins can get stored in the fat cell. They can innervate the cell wall because the cell wall is fat, go into the DNA and infect your genes. I mean, there's even studies that show that synthetic vitamins create cancer. So anyway, um, that's another point you need to realize. Um, coal, uh, B vitamins are made from coal tar. Coal tar, that's like, that's petroleum. They can actually make B vitamins from petroleum. Do you want your vitamins made from petroleum? Yeah, I see some people say, oh, a molecule is a molecule, it's the same thing. It's kind of like saying artificial sweeteners or artificial flavorings are the same as natural flavorings. No, they're not. Vitamin C synthetically is made from corn, which is GMO and sulfuric acid. I mean, corn has very little vitamin C, if any but they can make it synthetically. Vitamin K2 has a synthetic version called MK4, 
uh, in my product I use MK7, which is natural, I don't use the synthetic. The vitamin waters that people buy, it's all synthetic. They think they're getting something really great. Um, why do people sell synthetics? Well, it's really, really, really cheap. Uh, and I priced it. Uh, even like biotin, for example, if you buy synthetic biotin, uh, you can get it for pennies. If you buy natural biotin, it's like $800 per kilogram. It's incredibly expensive. So of course, there's a lot of profit in synthetic vitamins, especially the, the big name brand vitamins you'd get at the drugstore, or the GNC, or in some of the GNC, not all of them, and then also the uh, CVS or the Walgreens. Most of those are just purely synthetic and they can sell them so cheaply, okay? So, read the label. Make sure that the uh, dosages, the milligram doses, dosages are not all the same, like 100, 100, 100, 100, or 50, 50, 50, because in nature, uh, the milligrams would be varied. And also look at the actual ingredients where it says that. It'll, it'll say, um, you know, from wheatgrass, from cruciferous vegetables, from certain, uh, like, nutritional yeast versus vitamin A, blah, 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 or certain minerals or calcium carbonate. You don't want to put that in your body. Okay, so I just wanted to bring this up because uh, I have other videos about this, but sometimes it's hard to find them. So I wanted to create one in a new unit of time. Um, go, f go from actually get your new vitamins from food and concentrated food and food based uh, vitamin complexes. All right, thanks for watching. Hi guys, hey, listen, I created a pretty amazing evaluation quiz down below that actually analyzes your symptoms to find the cause the root cause of all of your symptoms, the most likely cause. So take the quiz now and we'll send you a report.